Greetings, this is the mod coming to you with uh, some heated gear that I've been working on. Through uh, several hours of research and reading in forums, a beading wire for necklaces and bracelets is a PVC coated seven strand stainless steel wire. There is no electrical data on this, only um, trial and error. But a hundred feet for eight dollars and fifty cents gets you a few tries and I want to share with you some of the prototypes that I did and what was great about it and what wasn't this is about six feet of wire on fleece that I chose a zigzag pattern and sewed the wire in in a very basic pattern on top of the finger and the, the good part about this, using this wire, is it is the circuit. There is no circuitry in addition to this wire. These two ends, like you've seen on commercial gear, if you've looked at those options, very expensive options, I might add, these two wires off the end of here, if you simply use alligator clips from your battery and clip one on each wire, does not matter which, it's not polarity sensitive, this wire integrated into all the fingers will begin to warm up nicely. It won't get too hot on you. How you adjust the temperature is whether you go shorter or longer. So my next prototype basically finding that there wasn't enough coverage in the outside of my hand so I added an extra loop. I'll jump over here really quick to show you what I did. I started at the back of the hand came down the end of the fifth finger, came back, looped around and went back up and I found that to be a nice more nice uh, distribution of heat on the outside of my finger plus it's the smallest one and exposed to the outside wind so the extra protection was welcome. That was about eight and a half feet. Why this one didn't work is it's flat and though I tried to make a pocket for my thumb to get all my fingers and jam this insert down into the glove uh, just it really wasn't satisfactory because the pocket didn't work out for the end of the fingers so my recommendation is to go with a glove liner or something that you can sew this wire into and make connectors to connect and disconnect easily I found these on eBay for maybe $12 for 10 pairs. That gave me two of these for a dollar each. I'd recommend getting a little bit higher quality one though because the pin down the inside of this one, when I connected them, I twisted it just kind of messing around and the way this one goes inside of it caught the slit that's in the tip of this and it snapped it off so you don't have to deal with that if you get, get a higher quality connector um, probably the coolest thing about this is even though it's inexpensive is it only uses about 250 to 350 milliamps per glove. So for UST 1100 owners like I am, it's not a huge draw for the comfort on your 28 amp alternator. In the future, like this was patterned, I intend on putting my foot, you can get this material for about a dollar a yard sometimes at the fabric store, it's just fleece. I intend on putting my foot down on it and tracing a pattern of fleece and sewing in a pattern under the ball of my foot and making uh, heated liners, heated, heated soles. So check this out. It's 26 gauge Beetalon, uh, wherever my spool went. 26 gauge Beetalon, you get 100 feet for eight and a half dollars and start with about seven or eight feet of it. Why I say that 
is if you go shorter, it's less resistance in the wire for 12 volts or when your engine's running about 14 to 15 volts to travel down and the shorter it is, the hotter it gets. So if you start with seven or eight feet of it, you'll be, be able to feel the warmth coming through it. Don't wrap it around your hand tightly because it'll fool you and it being, well, it'll be really hot, but because it's spread out, it's a nice even distribution of heat instead of it being all focused in, in one area.